Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way to Malekith. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And I did absolutely nothing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to level up a couple of times. Got about six levels we can put in. We're going to come out here and we are going to activate a summoning pool. Jump up here. Grab ourselves a Lord's Rune. We're just going to run through all of this stuff. We're not going to bother fighting them. Unless you absolutely want to, I suppose. Grab a golden rune 12. Come up over here. Just keep running. Should be able to outrun all these guys. Make sure to kill the Golden Scarab going this way, because we have a dragon that's right over here. Pick up a Smithing Stone 8, and then just run away from the dragon. I am going to kill these dogs. Just because they are quite a nuisance if we don't. We're going to come down over here. We have something following us. Grab some dragon wound grease. Just a skeleton. Just going to backtrack just a little bit. By the way, the scarab did drop us a faith spell, which will boost our lightning damage negation pretty good spell if you're going up against a lightning boss which there is a secret boss here that uh, deals some significant lightning damage so it can come in handy there if you're a faith build For now we are going to finish up Alexander's quest line let's go ahead and talk to him ah I see you finally made it here yourself the city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, I can't believe you felled that giant. It was practically a god. I doubt there's another soul out there who could have done the same. Of course, I count myself the great Alexander among the many. Which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. You are ready then, I take it. Then let us begin. I am the great Jar Warrior, Iron Fist Alexander. Lend me strength, O oh warriors within. Let us become one champion together. You just tried to hit Duke in my ass. Be careful for that uppercut. Uh, with Alexander. It's pretty gnarly. Looks really cool. Grab that golden rune 12. Alexander doesn't stand a chance. As I suspected. My thanks. 
I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you. Take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> I'm really sorry about skipping that dialogue. I forgot that he had a little bit of dialogue after we uh, took him down. But we get one of my absolute favorite talismans, which is the Shard of Alexander. And we get his innards. The innards is for a side quest over in Jarberg. We'll be doing that in the next video. For now, let's go ahead and switch out our Blessed Dew talisman with the talisman we just got the shard of alexander which is g going to greatly boost our attack power of all our skills and we are always using at least i'm always using the bloodhound step so it's definitely worth putting that on keep in mind everybody you don't have to do the same build as me hopefully um everybody's not doing the same build as me but if you are hopefully you're enjoying it I personally think that the build that I'm doing is a good build for people that are new to the game. That's why I chose it. We're going to come up and over here. We're going to take down this guy. He fell right off. There's another dude right over here. Then if we come in here, we can get ourselves the Ancient Dragon Apostle Cookbook 4. And that is the last of all our cookbooks, except for one that I forgot in the academy, which I will be going back and getting. For now, we're going to roll off right here. I'm going to pick up a smithing stone eight, and then we're going to fast travel back over to the dragon temple lift. Let's turn around. Go down this elevator. I'm going to come out over here. I wouldn't even worry about that guy. Just hop off right here. Hop over here. Just keep moving. And that enemy should de aggro. ahead and grab ourselves a golden rune 12 and then if we come over here I hate jumping over here because the camera always messes me up grab ourselves the dragon crest shield talisman plus two we already have the better version of it so we don't need to put that on but if you want to downgrade yourself feel free Take those guys out. That way they don't sneak up behind us. Come up here. Should be a dog somewhere over here unless it killed itself. There it is. Over that way is uh, nothing. There's no items over there. It's just another way to get over to an area that we already been to. Then we're going to hop down right here. This is the stairs that we just went up. And then over here is a Crucible Knight. If you want to fight it, you can. I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to run around this dragon. And then run and jump. Grab a Smithing 8. 
Run and jump again. Run and jump again. Light this grace. And then we're going to set out the grace to de-aggro the Crucible Knight. Hop down this way. We have a eagle or a hawk. I want to say that it's an eagle. Maybe they're hawks. They look a little more like a hawk. Pick up the smithing stone six. There's another hawk right over here. Careful of the red lightning. Pretty easy to dodge. I like to run, jump off right there. Usually I do hit the hawk, but fortunately I missed. Then right here by this ladder, we're going to hop off. And we're going to hop off again. Come all the way around this balcony. And get the really, really cool Drake armor set. We're going to take this elevator up. Take out the beast man, get some lightning great bolts. And then we're going to turn around, take the elevator down. Except this time we're going to hop off in just a moment. Right here. It's going to send us back over here. We can activate this summoning pool that I forgot to activate when we came by here first time. Come over here for an arteria leaf. For the lightning to go off so we can kill these hawks. Another one right up here. I like to shoot it with my bow. We're gonna fight this dragon. This dragon is got very low health, so it shouldn't be too hard to kill. Ooh. Unless you do something like that. Don't be like me. You get an ancient dragon smithing stone for killing it. We're going to come over this way. Jump across. And then we have a few more hawks to kill. Switch out the weapon, would you? Thank you. I hate these birds, man. Might want to aim for this one. Just so you can hit it. There's one more over here. Then 
then we can take this one out. Pick up another golden seed. So many golden seeds that we're not using. Then we're going to run up this way. Grab ourselves a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. And we're going to fall off here. Just keep going down. Get that free backstab. Pull out our bow. Then from a distance, we're going to get that hawk's attention. And then there should be a banished knight that comes down this way. Usually does. You can hear him walking. There he is. We're actually making good time in this episode. Go ahead and open up this chest. Grab the dragon tower shield. And then we're going to go up this elevator. Hop up here. Now we're going to have another Crucible Knight. I'm going to run right past it. Because he's going to be busy fighting some of those beast men. So what I like to do is just run right past him. Let them do their thing. And climb this ladder. Kill the hawk and get ourselves a bolt drake talisman plus two. Some more lightning resist stuff. Come over this way and now we're going to head southwest. Take out the beastmen. You ain't doing your wombo combo on me, bud. Go across here. Be really careful not to fall off. Then right in here, we're going to have two spellcasters and then a regular beastman that's going to attack us. My advice is do your best not to die here. So easy to die here. 
A lot of people like to take out the beastmen that are casting spells first. I try to just take out the one that's over to the left first and then the uh, regular beastman. By the way, we did get a somber bell bearing plus five. Let's rest at this grace. We are getting ready to fight a secret boss. And this boss is no joke. So what I like to do is send this elevator up just in case we die, which is very possible. Out of all the bosses that I've come up against, this is one of the harder ones. Take the beastmen out and then head straight west. Careful not to get the attention of that beastman over there. Head west of here. And if we look down, we can hop down right here. Hop down right here. We're just going to keep going down. Let's lie down. Go, go, Godzilla. Every time I see this boss, that song just pops into my head. I don't know why, it just does. Let's go ahead and get our Mimic tier summoned in. Buff ourselves up. And then I am going to try to rot the Dragon Lord here, if I can. This is a tough fight just because it moves fast and when it hits, it hits hard. Just do your best, everybody.
Ooh. Man, it is messing me up right now. I don't think I Scarlet Rotted it, but that's all right. We'll still kill it. When it does that, that's when you want to dodge. What I clearly failed to do. And still failing to do. Just barely missed that. One more hit. That's how you should dodge that. And when it does that, try your best to dodge it. Very hard to dodge that. Those laser attacks are no joke. But for killing the Dragon Lord, we get it to Remembrance. And we can come over here and light the grace. That was a very close fight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel over to beside the Great Bridge. Go ahead and activate that summoning pool. And then over here, we're going to use some more Scarlet Rot in just a moment. Best way to deal with this guy here is at least get a little bit of Scarlet Rot on him, which I think I completely missed him. Not completely, but... Yes, spam, spam that spell. I love it. Do not get greedy with this guy. So easy to get messed up. Huge. 
Huge AoE. I'll take that fireball to the face as long as I can heal. There we have it. For killing him, we get the Malformed Dragon Armor Set. Let's go ahead and pick up these items real quick. And then we're going to run to the bottom. Still not done with this area. Just a couple more things to do. Right here we have an enemy. We're going to drop down on him. Take him out real fast. You're off to the left. Take that guy out. Get a somber eight. And then we're going to hop down. We are about to get invaded. Don't get too close to the doorway. There are some beastmen over there. You don't want to be fighting Barnell or Bernal. I think his name is Bernal. He's going to heal himself, isn't he? You bastard. You dirty rat bastard. For killing Bernal, we get the blasp Blasphemous Claw. You can use that to parry um, shit, Malakath. That's his name. I'm not even going to bother with it because Malakath is super easy to beat as long as you know what you're doing. Uh, we also get the Devourer's Scepter and then we get the Beast Champion Armor. So over here we're going to chug a flask, buff our weapon... And then just to the left, we have a couple of the easier beastmen. And then one of the bigger beastmen is going to come out and try to kill us here. But he's doing quite a good job at doing that. Get the old lord's talisman and then we're going to fast travel back over to beside the great bridge now let's go fight malakath pretty easy fight if you have any kind of scarlet rot he's super weak to scarlet rot and we just so happen to have a dragon rot breath, so we'll be doing just fine. Go ahead and put your flask on. We can take this off. We don't want our mimic tier to be putting that on during the fight. Tarnished. Why wouldst thou? Why? It is no matter. I hereby vow that Destin's death shall not be stolen again. Death. 
become my blade once more. Here's where we're going to use our Dragon Rot Breath. If you'll give me a second. Just be very careful not to get hit with a lot of his move sets. Like that, right there. Oh, he's way over there. That was just a waste of that. Look at how fast his health is ticking down just on the dragon rot. Alright, quit messing around, Mr. Wayne. Kill Malakath. We get his remembrance. Unbound. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns. It is then. You'll be Elden Lord yet. Welcome everybody to the capital that is covered in ash. We're going to light this grace and then real quick since the video went so well, I'm going to go back over to the, um, not right. Yeah. Rhea Lucaria 
uh, the schoolhouse classroom over here. I forgot to get a cookbook. We're going to go get that real quick. We'll kill this guy real quick. I mean, it's just a one shot at this point. Right here, I forgot to open up this chest when we came through here the first time. I apologize. And uh, for opening up that chest, we get the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 5. And then we are going to come right back over to... Lindell, capital of Ash. I'll see everybody over there. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. It really does mean so much to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.